I just got back from uh, going down Broadway in Nashville, and that's the main strip in Broadway. And because I know there was a guy who I played one gig with before, kind of as an emergency sub, I know he was playing, and he's been on and off the road much like I have. And we shoot messages back and forth every now and again. And I remember I really liked the way he played. I liked him personally. I liked his style. And he was also doing just kind of country tunes I've never heard of before and doing it in a way which he really, he really appreciated it. And I felt like that was really him. And so I kind of followed him on Instagram and we shot some messages back and forth and he told me that he was playing today. So I decided, why don't I just go down? I have a couple hours and usually I want to spend some time screwing around on the internet, maybe making a video, but I'm like, I need to go out and network with real people. So I went and saw him play and I had no goal in mind because I really like hearing him play and he's a kind of a person, a musician who I'd like to be associated with. Um, I'm not trying to find a gig because I know he's going out of town and I'm probably going out of town. But I just went and listened to him play and he was really good and I really enjoyed listening to him play and then he had me sit in and play. I didn't anticipate on that and I was a little bit nervous about it and I played okay. But the whole point is, Instead of me just being on the internet, me making videos, I want to go out and get FaceTime with people. And for me, that's personally always been really challenging because I'm a bit socially awkward in a sense. I have a hard time networking and I feel it's disingenuous. Um, I'm working on changing that, but I really only want to like, I talk to people who I really only want to talk to or I only want to work with. And so one thing I'm trying to do now is going out to hear other musicians play that I just really respect and I just want to learn and hear them play, not try and sit in. And if they want to have me sit in, cool. Um, so yeah, I did that today. I really enjoyed hearing him play and it just reminded me that, oh, I need to go out and spend my time in real person in front of people. And sometimes that's not easy for me to do, but spending time in front of somebody, hearing them play, I think it's far more rewarding for myself in terms of hearing, being inspired, but it's also a way to create more authentic connections. And that's really what I want to do. I don't want to just, you know, shake everybody's hand who like maybe has a gig if I don't want to work with them. I want to go hear people that inspire me. So yeah, I uh, put up my GoPro and I'll let you hear it. Again, it's not the best I played, but it's not the worst. And it's really just, oh, here, this is what it's like trying to learn a new style, learn a new town, learn a new scene and break in and network. Uh, because I really think as a musician, one of the, there's so many great musicians out there who don't network and so many great networkers out there who aren't great musicians. And I'm trying to say, all right, I really worked on my craft. I'm always gonna wanna work on that more. I need to work on my weakness, which is just meeting people, talking to people, making relationships. So that's what today was about. And I've shown a little video. I'm gonna attach it at the end of this uh, clip. If you like what you see, if you're curious, click like, click subscribe. If you have any questions, just shoot it in the comments.